program when you actually considered quitting, right? I did. So tell us about that. So um, I had so much training to do at work and um, I started this program. I was talking to Gladys. Um, I was given her number by her cousin and uh, I was talking to her about the classes that I was taking here at the college. And my, during my boot camp, I had another class I was doing. But then um, she came in and told me about Colaberry. So we started Colaberry boot camp. Hold on, Gladys? Yeah, Gladys brought me in. You brought her in? You just, yes, I did, Ali. You just <laughs> having an impact on so many. Listen, they gonna have man, Gladys. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. She 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 is one of a kind. Yeah, she brought me in. It was we started a group, me and her, and then we had Marvet, and we had uh, Martin. Merva, Mer Merva is part yeah. of those group too. Yeah, that was yes. group five. Oh wow, y'all just all getting offers at the same damn time, huh? Just the whole yeah. click. Yes. Wow. Okay. So moving along, um, Lynette came on board. I think it was during the IPBC, same with Teresia. And uh, during that IB IPBC, I had, I had my moments. That's where I, I crashed. I really did that. I took a deep dive and I said, God, I can't. I'm a single parent. I'm trying to put food for my kids. 2018, um, Life happened to me and my family, and we were homeless, my girls and I, for six months, didn't have anywhere to live. Um, after six months, we got a place, we got an apartment, so everything just was too much for me to take, and I still had classes that I was taking from my college. So during my boot camp, I still had, had other classes that I was taking. So, because um, I'm trying to, the money that I, I was making was not enough to feed my kids. Coming from homelessness, my car broke down, life happened, I got a new car and everything just hiked. I have so many debts in the bank. And um, at that point, I thought this was not going to, I'm not going to make it. I thought I was not going to make it. And it's just that voice in your head that tells you, oh, no, you're not good enough. Oh, no, you can't do this. But the same group that I started with here and there, they knew I was crushed. They knew I was down. But individually, they come along and they say, hi, how are you doing? Hey, da, da, da. Martin was there. Hey, are you OK? How are you doing? You know, you don't want to. I didn't want to give them the negative vibes. I didn't want to tell them exactly what I was going through because I didn't want them to fall back. This thing was hard for me. It was really hard. You know, so then I told them, just give me some time. I'll get back to it. Just give me some time. And um, yeah, I think that was my moment where nothing made sense. And I thank God that these people held, held on to me. They did. They believed in me. And God gave me another good mentor. He just kept saying, no, don't give up. You, you, are, you are right. You are ready. You, you need to go. You're ready. So I really thank God for Colaberry. I do. Ali, I think we found our new face of Colaberry. <laughs> <laughs> Is she she taking the rent, she taking it away from you, me. Right. <laughs> she she has the testimony. I think I think they can relate to her better now. <laughs> wow. So so what is this single mom, two kids? Like, I mean, you you were like at rock bottom, homeless, right? Like, yeah. man, from being in that mindset, it's very hard to be positive, you know? Like, how are you able to? to get from that to where you are now? I, I thank God that um, I knew God. In a, I took a deep dive getting to know where I am, who I am, why am I even here? You know, if, you, if you've never gotten to that point in your life where you, you feel so good to take your life out, pray that it never happens. Because I used to wonder how can someone just pull a trigger on, their, on themselves? Like, how stupid could they be? No, they're not stupid. It feels so good to just end yourself and your life. And if you've never gotten there, pray that you don't ever get there. So I got to that point um, and I, I was going to walk through the highway and someone pray that someone who hit me so hard. And then that night, God stopped me because my daughter couldn't sleep and she was crying and screaming. My mom wants to commit suicide. I was like, OK, this is stupid. This is dumb. So, oh, wow. so uh, coming from that, I, I got to know God in a different perspective. I felt like this was him telling me I'm not done with you. And this is uh, interesting because before I went to Vegas, 
I had a dream, y'all. I had a dream. I did have a dream. <laughs> and it, <laughs> had a dream. <laughs> I had a dream. I, I believe in dreams. I don't know about you, but I do. So what did you dream a, about? What, what was your dream about? <laughs> In this dream, I was in the waiting area. I was in the bay room, like at the airport when you're waiting to board a plane. I was mm -hmm. in the waiting area. It was like four of us in there and everybody else was in class. And then uh, this man came and this man came in Ali. And Ali came and said, it's your time to go. It's your time to go. You know, what? those dreams you wake up, you're like, no, that did just happen. I, I want to go back to it. You came in and you said, it's your time to go. You're ready, go. Then and then I knew this was my confirmation. God telling me I was ready to go, but I didn't know how. I didn't know where. I'm still thinking, oh, next week I'm going to Vegas. Maybe he means I'm going to Vegas. No. So before the interview, I had another encounter. So I knew. It is true of me. You were running to the airport. You were late for the plane. You were running, you were running, you were running. Mm -hmm. And... She texted me and said, can you call? Because she knew I had a, a, I had a barrio. And, and she, I, I called her. She said, you know what? These guys really liked you so much. They want to keep you. Uh, do you accept the job? Um, yeah, you know me being having Ali's head. I said, uh, how much are they paying? Where did we agree on that one? She said, oh, this much. I said, okay, thank Jesus. Then we can move, up. We can move forward. So yeah. Yeah. my testimony is that God will be there for you. I don't know how you meditate, but whatever you do, he will come through. For me, I, I felt like my life had ended. I had come to a stop in my life, but then a new chapter just opened up.